Hi, this is Cindy, and this screencast is going to show you how to get one of the touch screen uh, Chromebooks set up for scanning purposes um, so that the students can use either a barcode from their student ID or a QR code that they get from Genesis to um, turn style in and out of a location. Um, so there's several steps to do to disable the um, touch screen for the Chromebook itself and to get the Chromebook set up um, for the students to be able to scan. What uh, we found is that the best way to have this set up is with one of the touch screen Chromebooks because you can fold the keyboard underneath and lay it flat <coughs> on the table surface so that um, those students can't get to the keyboard itself. And then also when you disable the touch screen on the Chromebook, um, the students aren't able to touch the screen to sign in. The um, touchless way of entering is good for two reasons. First, it uh, prevents germs, the spread of germs with everybody touching the same keyboard. Um, and second, if you are set up to scan, and a student uses the keyboard to try to type in at the same time another student is trying to use the scanner attached to the same Chromebook, then um, neither student will get entered in the right way. The student typing, their numbers will be in the um, input uh, screen, and then when the student scans in, their number will also go in, and then the system will just reject both numbers as not being recognized because um, they were entered at the same time on the same screen. This does happen quite often in a space where the students are all signing in um, within the same brief period of time when there's a number of students trying to sign in at once, for example, in the annex during study halls. Um, so it is a good idea to get it set up to try to be a touchless system where the students are scanning. Um, of course, the students can simply unfold the Chromebook and get to the keyboard, but with somebody standing watching them um, scan in, you can see if somebody's trying to do that and ask them to uh, scan in instead. So, the first thing that we have to do on the Chromebook is disable the touch screen. Um, the way to do that is we need to use a shortcut on the keyboard. And currently we are not able to use keyboard shortcuts without doing a uh, kind of workaround that's in a beta testing format to enable us to be able to use those commands on a Chromebook. So first thing we need to do here is disable our touch screen and we need to enter in this um, command into our Chrome browser. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to type in the word Chrome first colon, two slashes, then the word flags, another slash, hashtag ASH, hyphen, debug, hyphen, shortcuts. And that's going to bring me to this screen. Um, the very first one that comes up should be the one that you need. It says debugging keyboard shortcuts. That's what we're looking for. Um, right now, mine is enabled, but on your device, it should be disabled. Anytime that you change one of these, so you will want to enable this, so click on enable. Anytime you change one of these, you will get an option down here to restart your Chrome browser, and it tells you right here the changes cannot take effect until you restart. So um, go ahead and hit restart. I'm not going to do that now because that will end my screencast, um, but go ahead and hit restart on yours. Then you can, once it restarts, come to your keyboard and you will search Shift and T. The search key is over on the left-hand side of your keyboard where the caps lock is normally located. So hold down Search, Shift, and the letter T. And then once you release them, try touching somewhere on a couple different spots on your screen. And you should find that it has been disabled and you can no longer interact with the screen, the touch screen itself. We're then ready to go to Genesis and get signed in. I put on here the um, different logins to use for the Annex study halls. Um, the password is always the same here. And then the different usernames for the different blocks 
um, are down here as well. So I'm going to come back to my tab here and I'm going to go to the same Genesis login that we always go to, genesis.chclc.org. Hit enter on there. I'll sign in to one of the study hall blocks. And now I can come over to this screen here. And if we make it big, um, then you can block it off so that the whole screen shows here. And that makes it so that when the students do sign in, their photo will appear down here. And you can see it all on one screen without having to um, toggle up or down or scroll up or down on your screen itself. Um, after you get signed in to one of the study hall blocks, the next and last thing that we have to do is we want to keep the Chromebook from going to sleep because that will mess with the um, Genesis connection and um, cause the internet to time out on you so that you have to sign back in or um, get reconnected to the Wi-Fi. So the steps for keeping the Chromebook from sleeping is you need to come down here and click on the clock so that you can get to this menu. Come here to settings. And then within settings over on the left hand side, come down to device. Within device, you're gonna come to power. And then as I put on the screen here, there's two different things you have to do. So the first thing when idle, change to keep display on. So here it says when idle. Now it's disabled for me being signed into the Chromebook. Um, but when you go in under guest, you are able to get to these functions. Um, and unfortunately I had to be signed in on here um, so that I could use my screencastify extension. But on yours, when you're in as a guest, you can change this. When you toggle down to here, you want to choose the option that says keep display on. Um, and then the next thing we want to do, if I come back down here into settings, is change this sleep when lid is closed. Just toggle that to be off so that the device will not sleep when the lid is closed. So toggle off sleep when lid is closed option. Um, again, when I did it this morning, it was I was able to get to these things um, within the settings when I was on in guest mode. Um, so hopefully all of those steps will work for you and then you'll be ready to um, have the setup for students to easily and quickly scan in using their barcode from their ID or their QR code from Genesis. Thanks.